Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at something pretty cool, um, something pretty small too, if you can see, very small, we'll zoom in on it a little bit, what you're seeing is an Arduino Pro Mini, um, this is a scaled down version of a full size Arduino, you can see it barely fits on my fingertips, it's hard to hold on to. Um, it has almost all of the functions of a full-size Arduino built onto this much smaller footprint. It allows you to put an Arduino in places where one normally just couldn't fit. Um, it does have analog input and output. It does have PWM. So any of your projects that require that, including the one I'm using it for, uh, will work perfectly fine. Uh, as you can see, the headers on mine not quite straight. The project I'm using it for is actually a remote control car, uh, and it's taken more than its fair share of crashes, uh, so those have become bent. Uh, that's fine, it doesn't affect usability at all. Uh, the solder joints are still pretty tight on there. Um, as long as you're decent with a soldering iron, there's nothing to be afraid of with this. And when I say decent, I mean halfway good. I'm, I'm not that great myself, so... Um, as long as you know how to use one, you're competent, you shouldn't be afraid. Um, one thing that they did have to cut out of the Pro Mini, just to keep it small form factor, is a programmer. You can't just connect this to your computer with a USB cable like you could with a full-size Arduino. Uh, there's just, there's no USB port, there's no programming chip built onto it, it's just the CPU. Uh, it does have a reset button, though, which is a handy feature, but uh, no programmer. So, to get around that, you get what's called an FTDI chip. This is what has your USB port, and I soldered on some female headers here. Again, not a great job, still works. So all you do when you want to program this, you take your FTDI chip, you take your Pro Mini, connect them up, and that'll power and program the Pro Mini, just like a normal Arduino. This is essentially a full Arduino. Take it off, and you lose your USB and programming features. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you still have serial transmit and receive. Uh, you still have... Oh, you can actually see. Right along the top. Those are the pins used for the FTDI. You've got ground, voltage, receive and transmit. Then going down the side, you've got some more ground, some digital input output pins, your reset button, some more digital input outputs, your analog input outputs. Um, there are pairs of these digital input outputs that do PWM. Um, that's useful for my application because I'm using it to actually direct, send a signal uh, to the motor driver uh, to tell it how much throttle to give. Um, I'm still working out the numbers for that, but um, that's very useful for my application. You can see www.arduino.cc. Uh, it does have support for 5 volt, 3 volt everything. I'm actually running mine off of a, a LiPo battery. Uh, I just have, that's what I'm powering the RC car off of, so I just steal power from that for the Arduino itself. Um, I'm also using an XB in the same car for my serial transmission. Um, I power that actually off the Arduino. I set one of these pins to high so that it's pushing 5 volts and use a regulator chip on the XB to actually power it. Um, the 3.3 volt regulator on here is not strong enough to power the XB alone, uh, so having that 5 volts go into a regulator chip seems to be the best answer so far. Um, but overall, it's a pretty sweet package. This is, uh, I, I got this on eBay, again with no headers on it, nothing. It did come with the FTDI board, no headers on it. Um, it's what's called the Arctic Edition. I don't believe it's an official Arduino product, um, at least not this Arctic version. They do make official Arduino Pro Minis, 
this is just not one of them. I got both of these for around 15 bucks shipped, so that's what made me take the jump on this one, the Arctic Edition. Um, I did find some more on eBay if you're interested, so they are still there for 15 bucks. It's a pretty sweet package and it's hard to beat. If you need to put an Arduino somewhere, it just won't fit. Uh, this is my recommendation. Enjoy.